All right, Dwayne, what's good, bro? Chillin', man. It's your birthday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Happy birthday, bro. Thank you, thank you. Sure. So, uh, what are you getting done, man? I don't know, man. I mean, whatever you want to do. I was just going to do a, a blowout and then bring it down a little bit. Bro. Blow out and then bring it down? We can do that, man. About how much length do you want to take off? Probably about half. I just want to be able to sponge it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you're going to sponge it? Okay. And then the taper, do you like like a mid taper, low taper? Whatever looks good, man. Okay. All right, All right man, let's do it. YouTube, what is going on guys? I'm excited about this video because I haven't done an afro in a long time on this channel, man. We've been doing a lot of straight hair, a lot of wavy hair. Tito. Been trying to keep the diversity going on the channel, but I haven't done a, a afro shape in a while. So you saw the consultation. He wants about half of it off. Now, when you're cutting this texture of hair, you don't just boom, pick it out and cut half of it off because especially the way he's going to style his hair and that's why i asked him how you how you're gonna style your hair he told me he's gonna he's gonna um use this the sponge on it um if you just cut it down to half when he styles it it's gonna look like you cut two-thirds of it off right so i picked it out we're gonna take about a quarter of 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 the length off okay and the reason why we're going to do that again is because when it, his hair gets moisture and it shrinks or it's, it coils and it curls it's going to look shorter um but also because we're going to pick it out a second time and and make sure that the shape is nice regardless if his hair is you know um if he just got out of bed or something or he's styling his hair and so if you notice the way that i started this was i started with a profile section through the middle just like we would with shear work okay and that determined my length on the top now i'm going right above the ears and 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 working my way up to the top okay but you're going to notice after i've completed this side i'm going to stand behind him and look at the mir mirror and look at pretty much the shape it does the shape look the way i want it to so once we've done that we'll turn his chair around we'll do the same thing on this side we'll start to shape above the ear like so work our way up to the top and it's almost like cutting with shears right like we did our profile section through the middle on the top to determine our length and that was pretty much a traveling guideline for the rest of the cut as you can see here Gonna lie, it's pretty satisfying to watch. All right, so that was our first pass. Now we're gonna pick it out again. I'm actually gonna use the blow dryer to get as much um, lift uh, and stretch as I can, okay? But also what you'll notice is I'll start picking out the very um, top of the hair and work my way down to the roots to try to get as much tension and lift on the hair um, all the way around. And now on this second pass, we're not taking off a quarter. We're just literally Re retracing reshaping and really just getting the ends of the hair off so that we can get that shape back that we had originally okay um we don't want to take another quarter quarter of it off because then you're gonna take off too much length i feel like so just a slight trim on the second pass to get that shape back um and then we'll see we'll we'll style his hair and we'll see how it looks overall before we start giving him that taper. All right, so there it is. We're gonna put some can two cream in there, get a little bit of moisture, and now we're gonna use the curl sponge. All right, and you guys can see the 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 the, the trim is there. 
he looks about half of what he came in with and now we can start this whole taper process so i'm going to debulk it with that one and a half guard and with this texture of hair you can pretty much shape it the way that you move with your clipper the angles that you cut with that's the shape you're going to create and so i'm lifting off because i don't want to disconnect it i do want it to kind of blend into the top okay here i'm kind of going with the with the grain around the hairline because i want that to stay dark and now we're going to start our taper process so we did the bald line blade open and now we're going to start to blend this section off now we got our one guard all the way open and now you're going to see we're using our half guard to go ahead and blend that area out So Dwayne, uh, my model here, he's one of the barbers at Headlines, man. And we got a unique story. Um, it was a crazy experience for me when I first met him. Um, he was working at, at Ross or at Marshall's. I, I can't remember the exact store. And I walk in and I saw he was kind of like looking at me. And then he's like kind of following me. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm thinking to myself, here we go. What, what you going to harass me with? And... Uh, he was just like, yo, are you boss, yo? I'm like, yeah. He's like, bro, I watch all your videos. He's like, man, I moved down here to go to barber school um, and follow my dream of becoming a barber. And I'm just doing this job part time. Like my man sacrificed to become a barber. And, uh, you know, he was just telling me how the channel inspired him. And um, that was a that was like the craziest story to me. And now he's he works at Headlines at our Brandon location. He's a great guy, a family man, and um, yo, if you're in the Brandon area, you need a barber. Look up Dwayne at the bar at the Brandon location at Headlines and book him, man. This is an unbelievable individual. He sacrificed. He's worked very hard to be at where he's at, and um, most of all, man, he's he's an amazing dude. So um, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So. Uh, you guys saw we debulked the back here, and we're pretty much just gonna start same same taper process. I do all my blends on every texture of hair the same. Ball line, blade open, blend that out. One guard open, blend that out with the half guard. You know what I'm saying? Then the next step would be probably like your number two or two open, blend that out with the one and a half guard. All right, now when we debulked this, we did go with the grain one and a half guard with the grain just just to be sure. And we went in at an angle so that we can create a wedged shape. Now we're going against the grain with a one and a half guard. And we're going to take our time blending this. But after we, we go ahead and go through our system of blending, above the blend area, you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and freehand that shape back in. Because we don't want it to look disconnected. We want that blend to flow into his, his curls. So this is my two guard. And you saw how I'm kind of like lifting. And right beneath that two guard, we're working with that one and a half guard. So I didn't get to finish the, the, the story because I wanted to get back to the tutorial. But um, this is his birthday cut, man. So happy birthday to Dwayne. Y'all want to uh, y'all wanna check out his Instagram, man, and wish him a happy birthday. I'm a, I'll put his Instagram in the uh, description box below. Now you see this number two. I started to shape it because I still wanted to flow into the sides and he has so many curls at, on his hairline above his ear we're going with that one guard close and we're going with the grain to try to trim and lay that hair down so that when we go and line it up um, behind the ear and around the the neck area it's 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 laid hair that can get a crispy lineup because if it's too curly and it's curling up off the hairline and stuff um, it's just not gonna get a crispy line like and it's gonna be more difficult to line up 
All right, so now what I'm doing here is with my blade open is just pretty much freehanding and uh, raking his hairline down. We're gonna use some some hairspray, some ha some high hold hairspray, um, and and start with his beard so that that dries a little bit. Um, and with his beard, man, I had some challenges because I didn't know if I wanted to. He wanted to keep it wide, and he does have on his left, my right side of his beard. It is lighter near the, you know, from the beard connecting to the to the mustache. That little space where the beard connects to the mustache is definitely. It looks lower. It doesn't have as much density there, right? And so the left side, or his right side of the beard, um, that connects to the mustache looks fuller. But we still lined it up both sides as if they were the same width. And um, we just left it natural and rocked out like that. Damn it, Tito. Another one? Hey, Tito. And just so y'all know, man, Tito, if you're looking for beats for YouTube, for music, that's royalty free. You can sign up for his subscription. I think it's like ten dollars a month, and you get five new beats every single month to go ahead and rock out with. That link is in my description as well, guys. His hairline, if you notice where his vertical bar is, the hair grows away from the hairline, so it's really hard to get a really sharp, crispy line on, on with that type of hair growth pattern. So we're gonna get it as crispy as we can. But um, and it's gonna look good regardless. But we're gonna enhance it to get it to the next level. And this is the side of the beard that I was kind of. I didn't know if I wanted to just bring it down and get it as sharp as possible. Um, but then you know that would sacrifice the other side of the beard. So instead, I just I lined it up as if it was nice and full, like the other side. And uh, again, we just, we, we rocked out like that. That's me personally, that's how I would prefer my beard be lined up. If you're gonna have to take down both sides of my beard to get it as crispy as possible, I'd rather, I'd rather just keep it wide and um, line it up as, as wide as it can be and just, you know, that's what I would rather do on myself. So that's what I did on, on Dwayne. All right, so let's go ahead and enhance the cut. We're using the Beam Team XL. You can get it at tune45.com with that no drip. Now with the beard, if you notice, I just did one pass of that of that spray because I don't want it to look too dark. And we did this on both sides, especially since this side again is not as full around the beard line. Um, I didn't want it to look too dark and it looked too fake, right? All right, now we're gonna do that razor work to get this line up to the next level. If you notice where I'm where I'm lining up the beard with the razor again I'm just I'm lining it up as if it was the fullest thing out there and honestly straight straight on it doesn't look that bad but you'll notice you know, when we do the before or after it definitely looks like this side is fuller hey that's looking clean though and as always, guys, I, I always use shave gel on the mustache area because it's the most coarse, dense area. And like dry shaving that is, if you want to torture somebody, go for it. <laughs> but I like to use a shave gel. All right, guys, so check it out. That's the before. That's the before. Now look at that after. Lineup is crispy. It's the birthday cut, man. Shout out to my boy, Dwayne. Proud of you, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, man. And guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're literally uploading five days a week. It's getting crazy. We've been putting in the work. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the cut. And like always, guys, smash the like button. It always helps the channel out. Thank you, guys. Look at the neck taper, though.